My BF cheated on me and blame my parents. My BF and I have been dating for several years now. We meet in high school and everything was great until we decide our degrees. He went to med school and I to design school. My notes were always one of the highest in our high school. But his friends started to bully me for not being smart enough to be in med school. Those girls were also in our high school and their notes were awful. Nevertheless they made me less and told me things like OMG, you are never going to be someone important, you'll depend of someone as smart as us to be able to even eat. Even with that kind of commentaries he never defended me. When I told him that they were being mean he didn't believe me. It was until my gay BFF told me that I realized that those girls told my BF that I was the one being mean with them, and allegedly I told my BF that they were bad because I was jealous of them for not being as intelligent as them. I confront him and he told me that I was being nuts, and that they would never do something like that, that I was just jealous of their friendship. The truth was that those two girls were using him to do their group projects without having to move a finger to work on it and they let him do all the work alone. After a year he finally kinda accepted that they were not as good persons. With all this my parents started not to like him, especially cause he is from a different religion. My parents that are strict AF forbidden me to keep dating him. So we start secretly dating. After a year in college, it was being super difficult to keep seeing him without rising suspicion. We could only see each other once or twice at the Bimister. Especially cause he moved to another state. So he started to hang out with more another classmate from high school. A beautiful girl that I'll call Eliza. She was dating another guy but was super unhappy about his relationship. So my BF became her BFF. He would come to see her to our hometown quite often. Sometimes I phone him to be a little with him and he will respond that he WWS busy hanging with her, at her house, at midnight, alone. Which to me was a red flag but he dismissed me telling me that I was just jealous again that there were nothing between them because he was not handsome enough for her and also cause she had a boyfriend. I really tried to believe him. But each time it was more difficult to do so. One day I was in a dangerous situation. It was again midnight and I was scared while hiding under my bed cause I was being hit and I called him cause he was in town and I need him. He told me that he was busy, cause he was at a party with Eliza and it would be disrespectful to let her alone, even when was her party and all her friends were in her house with her, so he hang the phone and let me alone. A week later I once more confront him about it. I asked him if he was cheating and he got super pissed. I explained that there is a type of cheat called emotional cheat but he told me that I was being ridiculous. Every day he used to talk to me about her and everything awesome she do. It was becoming unbearable because he will never be with me, but every weekend when he returned to our hometown he would hang with her and told him everything. Even he told her about the status of our relation a hip and our secrets. It was so uncomfortable. He will always blame my parents for not allowed me to be with him. So I tried to convince him to both of us talk to them to convince them to allow us to continue being a couple. He still called himself my boyfriend but he would not see me at all. When I finally got the nerves to confront him once more he just told why aren't you Eliza, that triggered the biggest fight we have ever had. I felt betrayed but he kept telling me that he was not a cheater. Then he told me he never cheat on me cause he never kissed her. But that he would gladly may do with her or other girl if they bring him the attention I couldn't give him. A year later he finally accepted to talk to my parents to be able to be together. At first they weren't happy about it but after some time they finally accept him again. When this happened he finally stopped seeing her. Nevertheless the trust wasn't the same. And even nowadays I can't show him fear or insecurity about his relationships with some girls cause he will immediately call me again ridiculous, even when sometimes he will just talk to them so pretty while with me it's just so cold. Eliza's affair would be considered cheating? I'm not sure but it feels awful and I don't know what else to do. Next story too. I just found out my BF cheated on me 6 years ago, we've been together 11 years. I don't wanna bring this to my friends yet cause it would sour their relationship with him if we stayed together. Since we've been together so long, the majority of our friends are mutual. We've been together since we were 22. When he was 26, his mom died suddenly, they were extremely close and spoke every day, she was a real matriarch of their family and it was incredibly hard on him. During the first year, I supported his grieving. I got him to go to grief counseling and helped him to get back into normal life afterwards. About 18 months after her death we quit our jobs and went traveling together for an unknown extended period which ended up being 10 months. It had always been a dream of mine to do this kind of trip, 
I was ecstatic that it was actually happening and that I got to do it with my best friend. He confessed to me, it turned out about six months in, after we'd been having arguments almost every day of the trip, that he totally hidden from me the depths of his depression and grief, he was suicidal and he agreed to go on this trip to run away from his feelings, which as we all know, does not work. I was livid, he'd ruined my life dream, it had been mostly a horrible experience up to that point as he resisted any suggestions I made and we fought every day about him not wanting to do stuff and leaving me to go out on my own, which I didn't want to do as I hadn't gone on this trip solo. He is an excellent liar and very good at appearing fine which is why I hadn't spotted it before. In social outings and at home, he'd seemed to be dealing well with his grief. If he'd been honest with me, I would have insisted he get some help, go on antidepressants and we delay the trip. I would have loved to been given a choice. Anyway, fast forward to yesterday. In an emotional conversation about our future he confessed he'd cheated on me during that trip. We started in Australia, we went to my cousin's wedding with my whole family. We spent three weeks in Australia with them, and then they left. We traveled around for a few weeks visiting friends, and then ended up back at my aunt and uncle's place for our final few weeks in Australia before moving on. This was less than 1.5 months into the 10 month trip. I suggested to my BF that he go to Bali, by himself, for two weeks while I stayed with my family. He'd never done any kind of travel like what we were about to embark on, where you move around a lot and there's a lot of unpredictability with when you will be. I knew he would struggle with this, so I sent him off to Bali to have an experience doing it solo. This was where he cheated on me. Less than a quarter of the way through our trip. I asked him for all the details, and it's so much worse than that. They were in the Jilly Islands, which I went to with my BF two years earlier and we'd had a great holiday. He told her he had a GF and they still did it. Neither of them were drunk. And also, they'd met in a hostel the previous night and deliberately booked a room with a double bed in another hotel for the next night, in order to have the opportunity. He said it was because he didn't feel connected to me. I will again remind you, he was grieving at the time a very serious death, and we'd been living at my parents the last six months before leaving which is not a sexy place. He didn't feel connected because he'd shut himself off and not told me how depressed he was getting and hidden with this lies and acting fine. I lived with him, and I didn't see anything concerning. I would not have gone on an extended trip with someone I felt needed support. I feel fully justified here in saying I had no part in why he felt that way, it was nothing I did or said or changed. I am beyond devastated by this news. I thought he would never cheat because he'd feel too guilty. Turned out he did cheat and felt guilty but instead decided to just completely hide it from me. Oh one more thing. The only other person he's told is our mutual friend, who he told the day after, and told him to either tell me immediately or never tell me, and who also I spent three weeks with about three months later on the USA part of our trip. I spent three weeks with the guy, and he's known this entire last six years of our friendship. I feel so yucky that one of my friends knew all that about. My boyfriend and just hung out with me knowing that. I really thought I'd found an exception to what the general assumption seemed to be of men are cheating trash. So many of our arguments and his behavior make sense now with him carrying around this guilt the whole time during the last six years. Has anyone forgiven cheating before? What about it made you forgive? I need to know if this is something I can move past. Comment. Why would you want to forgive him? Why stay with someone who treats you like this? And then he lied about it for years? He could have given you a horrible STD. And, my god, he's blaming you for the cheating back you weren't connecting. What a little slime ball. When I was a teen, I learned how to water ski. And when you wipe out, you have to remember to let go of the rope before you get dragged through the water face first by the motor boat. Your relationship reminds me of this. Let go. Stop letting him drag you down. If it was meant to be, it wouldn't be so damn hard. I honestly wouldn't forgive him. If he immediately regretted why did let her give him a BJ the next day? Why didn't he tell you straight away? Why couldn't he just communicate how he felt to you instead of cheating? If someone is able to cheat on their partner they have no respect for them and don't love them. He also lied for 6 years so that shows you how much respect and love he has for you. Bottom line he's selfish and only cares about himself. Yeah there have unfortunately been cases of people forgiving their POS spouse and then they realize it's a huge mistake cause all the work is on their half, so if you have a spine and is not a professional doormat without an ounce of self-respect then go ahead and go on the journey to heal your relationship, 
but let me remind you that this guy used his mom's death as an excuse to cheat on you, imagine the gall that shit requires he know damn well that is she was a good mom with good family values. You don't cheat on your spouse, also the fact that he did it again tells you how sorry he really was about, I mean what the hell they didn't even do it inside they did on the grass that is some disgusting shit Toto. Tell him that you are glad that he came forward to tell you, but that you didn't appreciate the fact that he took the decision not to tell you since he knew there would be consequences to it and since he's a childish moronic POS who spends his time reaching for excuses for why he does things instead of realizing that he may be a delusional dumbass, he can do it somewhere else as you don't enjoy being around toxic waste and actually wants to live with someone who doesn't cheat on you especially. On fucking grass which shows how desperate he was to apparently bang some other chick. It's not worth to forgive a person like that cause they never learn, cheaters gonna cheat and unfortunately people like that breaths and procreate, so you can do yourself justice by leaving and enjoy the rest of your life without wondering where your spouse is currently and what he's doing. Cut them both off. His friend is no friend of yours and they are both betrayers of trust. There is no expiration date on betrayal. If anything, if he supposedly feels so guilty, every day that you were not told was a new betrayal all its own because he was stealing your ability to make the choice to walk away while the years slipped away. Only you can decide if you will be able to forgive him. However, if you do you need to be mindful that your old relationship is over and whatever you had is gone. You will need to create a new relationship based on your current feelings and knowledge. I would advise you not making an immediate decision, but to separate from him for a while. This includes limited texting, phone calls, and visits. I believe that you will be able to think more clearly when your BF is not constantly around to remind you of the past and love bomb you. He act of cheating is nothing more than behavior revealing one's character aka true colors. Why would forgiveness be considered? It's simply a question of your willingness slash ability to accept and tolerate a partner's infidelity. Time is a valuable commodity. Why waste it on a cheater? He literally dumped you out of the blue for no reason three years ago. I'm not even sure why you forgave something like that when he crushed and ignored you like you didn't matter. After 8 years. He honestly seems like a coward who is going to leave you high and dry when things are too hard for you or him. I think you should really contemplate if this relationship is worth it and you want a partner who can do that to you. From everything you've shared over the years, I'm not sure it is. You are young and you do so much for him. You will most definitely find someone else. He however will remain a mess. Don't let him bring you down. Also for the love of God don't do the but it's been 11 years I don't want to throw all that time away. You didn't, he did.